top four mask effects in the intro as well. Duplicate your clip, disable the clip below, select top clip and go to fusion page. Select media in one node, shift space bar and type magic mask. Mask your object with a dropper, change mode to better and click track. Now go back to edit page, disable the top clip and enable the clip below. Open the effects window and look up for transform. Drag it onto clip below, hover the playhead to the first frame and set keyframe on X position. Hover to the last frame and set X value to minus 6. Go to advanced options and set edge behavior to reflect. Go back to the first frame, open animation and set keyframe on motion blur. Move several frames forward and set blur to 1. Open keyframe editor, select all keyframes and ease them with this button. Now drag the sliders a little to the middle and also ease keyframes to motion blur. Ok, now open effects window and look up for lens distortion. Place the playhead in the middle of the clip and set all distortion values to 1. Now go to the first frame and set distortion to 0. Go to the last frame and set values to 0 once again. Open keyframe editor and ease keyframes to distortion. Drag the sliders a little bit. And it's almost done. Now enable the top clip with our masked object. Go to effects window and drag directional blur to the top clip. Set blur angle to 0 and set a keyframe to strength. Go to the first frame and set strength to 0. Go to the last frame and set it to 0 again. Go to keyframe editor to ease keyframes. And this is what we have. Phone split effect. Duplicate your clip, disable the bottom one, select top clip and go to fusion page. Shift spacebar and apply magic mask. Select your object with the dropper, choose mode to better and click to track. Go back to edit page, duplicate this clip, disable the previous clip, select the top one, hover the playhead closer to the beginning and set keyframe to position. Go closer to the end of the clip, set keyframe on position, go to the middle of the clip and shift your object to the left. Go to effects window, look up for directional blur and apply it to our clip. Set blur angle to 0 and blur strength to around 0.8. Go to beginning of the clip and set strength to 0. Go to the end and set it to 0 again. Open the keyframe editor, align all keyframes so they all match. Open blur keyframes and hit ease in and out. You can drag it to the middle but not too much. Now open position keyframes and also ease it. Now we have this cool motion. Duplicate this clip, go to middle position keyframe and change value to positive, so the object moves to the right. Now enable the first clip with the mask and place it on top. And we have this cool animation. Now enable the bottom clip with the background, make a cut in the middle, go to effects window, search for stretch blur transition and drag it in between two clips. Set curve to ease in and that's it. Three sixty spin effect. Duplicate your clip, disable the bottom one, select the top clip, and go to fusion page. Select media in one node and look up for magic mask. Mask your object. Select mode to better and click on track forward. Now go back to edit page. And duplicate your clip three times on top of each other. Disable top three clips. Go to effects window and apply transform effect. Go to the first frame, set a keyframe on position X value. Then go to the last frame and set X position to minus 6. Open advanced option tab and select edge behavior to wrap around. 
and we have a shifting clone like this. Now let's add a motion blur to our clone, so it creates a sense of fast motion. Go to effects window and apply directional blur to our clip. Go to inspector and set blur angle to 0 and blur strength to 0 0.8. Ok, cool. Now let's add a lens distortion effect to make it look more like a bulging sphere. Go to effects window and apply lens distortion. Go to inspector and set distortion value to around 0.5. And also select edge behavior to reflect, so we will get rid of black parts of the screen in the future when changing the position of the next clips. Now enable top 2 clips, copy effects from the first one and paste it to our top 2 clips. Now select second top clip and change X position to around minus 1500. Select the third clip and change X position to around 1600 or 15 as you like. So now we have this circular motion of our clones. Now enable our original clip at the bottom and also fifth clip at the top. And here we go! Flying object effect. Here we have two clips on the timeline, and this is the cut where we will apply the shape transition. So duplicate the second clip, go back to around 18th frame, and extend the top clip. Disable bottom clips, select the top one and go to fusion page. Apply magic mask and select your object with the dropper. Choose mode to bearer and hit track. Now go back to edit page, step on the 9th frame of the top clip and set a keyframe on position. Go back to the first frame and set position to 2400. So the girl flies in from the top. Now let's ease the keyframes. Open keyframe editor, select all keyframes and select this button to ease it. And make spline shape like this. So it flies in rapidly and gradually stopping at the end of the motion. Now let's add a motion blur effect. Go to effects window and apply directional blur. Place a playhead on the first frame and set blur strength to 1 and blur angle to 90. Now step on the last frame of the fly in motion and set strength to 0. Open keyframe editor to ease blur keyframes. Cool, we have the main motion of our object ready. Now we can clone it. Drag the clip three layers above and duplicate it to one layer below. So the clone flies in behind our main object. Now go to keyframe editor, zoom in a little bit, select our keyframes and drag it four frames forward. Duplicate this clip one layer below and drag four frames more. And we have this cool fly in effect. Now enable our two main clips, go to effects window and look up for camera shape transition. Make it a little shorter. Change all refraction values to 0. Enable motion blur and set quality to 10. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content and if you would like to support this channel, please visit my store to download some cool presets for DaVinci Resolve.